In this video, you're gonna learn about the sprite target image, a component inside this UI. Let's get started. The sprite target image component changes the sprite of a target image and is a component that came in version 3.1.0 with the theme manager, the theme management system. So let's uh, look at the themes and you'll notice that you also have a sprite tab. So we have our colors, our color properties, and these are our sprite properties. Right now we do not have any sprite properties. So we enter edit mode and let's add one and let's say uh, main icon. I'm just going to name it. And now we can swap sprites depending on the active variant. So I would say for um, variant number one, let's have, I don't know, this icon. For variant number two, let's have this icon. And for variant number three, let's have a uh, unicorn. And we also need a image because the component is called sprite target image. So it changes the sprite of a image component. So I'm going to create a simple image. And in this particular example, I want to change the source image. So the sprite. So I'm going to add a component. I'll go to doozy themes targets. And here we have a sprite target image, or I just write sprite and I select it from this list. By the way, it will select the first theme. In this particular example, I have three themes, another theme, general, and my theme. And you will see that I have the active variant, variant one. And of course I have the main icon. Let's also create one more. And you'll notice that when I create a new property, it will be automatically added here as well. So let's add one more. Now I'll say second icon. And let's select some different uh, icons. So let's go like this. One, two, and I don't know, three. All right. So I can select either the main icon or the second icon. Let's also preserve aspect so it looks better. And let's exit edit mode. And you can see that when I change the active theme, the sprite, the, the, the sprite also changes to the one set here. If I go for the second item, icon property, you will see that it will select these icons. And this is basically how it works. It swaps sprites depending on the active variant. Of course, uh, this system works in the editor and you also want to be able to change that runtime. So we have three buttons and here we have a simple graph that has portal, a portal node connected to the first button that listens for the first button and that activates variant one, another portal, bo uh, portal node that listens for button two and activates variant two and another one that activates variant three. So let's enter play mode. And you'll see that just by clicking these buttons, we are able to change the active variant. So one, two, three. Yeah. And this is how the system actually works. So I can change the variant. You see that the graph is operational because it, uh, it is connected to a graph controller. And here you can see how <clears throat> we're changing the active theme just pressing the buttons. So this is the runtime system. And basically you can change whatever you need, any sprite on any icon, uh, on any image uh, component. Okay, that's it for the sprite target image. Thank you.